I'm gonna make fried rice. We have a little bit of rice, aromatics, eggs. I have a coast that's about to jump and try to eat my stuff, I think. Isn't that right, Kos? Always tie your hair first. Yeah, so Kos is playing with the camera right now. He wants the lard, which is what I was gonna say. I have lard here. I'm gonna put lard. So the first thing we're gonna do, just wanna see if uh, what the camera's like. Yeah, we can't see Kos right now, but he's right here. Kos, get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah, that's right. No, my camera. What's the angle like now? It's still fine. So what we're gonna do first, we have the lard rendering. Well, it's bacon fat, but bacon fat is lard, it's just seasoned lard. What we're gonna do... Is we're really gonna... Cut some garlic. You know, it doesn't have to be too crazy I mean we're making fried rice after all we're gonna put it in the lard you know medium lead medium low heat maybe another clove Infuse that fat with the oil. I will infuse that fat with the garlic. That way we have a, 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 a toasted garlic taste. You know. And uh, we'll keep some fresh garlic to have a fresh garlic taste too. Because garlic in many applications is very delicious. Uh, I'm using cast iron pan for fried rice because I have such a small quantity of rice that I don't really need to go too crazy with um, tossing around in a wok. So I think it's uh, using a cast iron pan is nice. It's got nice re heat retention, won't cool down too much. So for now, that's gonna be what I'm gonna do. So while I prep my stuff, we can. Uh, let that garlic infuse in there and control the heat. See, it gets too high, you know, lower the heat. Like that's what I'm gonna do right now. So I split my green onions into the lighter parts I'm gonna add to my uh, fried rice and the dark green parts I'm gonna add at the end for like garnish. pieces in there because I cut the rubber band I was holding the you know all this that has the rubber band I'm not gonna put in so we're just gonna keep this put it aside You know, when you cook, you want to use your smell, sense of smell, to see, you know, how everything's coming. Right now, I can smell that the garlic's getting milder, more fragrant. And there's a bit of ginger. strips and you turn it around and you just this is good enough for what I want I don't have much rice we'll put a little bit of garlic with our a little bit of ginger or garlic get that oil infused with that too you create flat planes easier to cut Uh, when you 
kind of better to curl your fingers away from your knife, but I never developed that habit. I have small enough fingers that it's not too bad for me. But um, if you get big fingers, you find yourself cutting yourself a lot. Uh, I recommend, yeah, curl your white fingers away, kind of hold stuff like this, and then that way you have your knuckle as like a guide. Rough chopped. Smallest shallot in the world. Cut in half. Shallots. Well, one shallot. Super tiny. It's struggling to even cut an onion. You know, the natural shape of the onion allows you to cut it pretty nicely with not much effort. It's very uh, pallium forward, you know, green onions, right, uh, shallots, garlic, onion. My eyes are watering right now because this knife's not very uh, sharp, so I'm pretty much uh, crushing my alliums, which is releasing a lacrimator uh, molecules that are making me want to cry. So. Use your nose when you're cooking. Also, you use your um, your ears. Right now, you know, my ears barely hear anything anymore. This is almost no sizzle, which means we've gotten all the moisture out of the garlic and the ginger that I put in the oil. I can use my nose. It smells toasty. It smells nice. I can use my eyes. I can see that it's brown. And it's just in time because I have to only have to cut my last aromatic which is this Thai bird's eye. So, I'll show you. As you can see over here, it's gotten brown, it's not sizzling anymore, it's foamy, so nutty, toasty, fragrant, delicious. Our rice, not much, three eggs, because I like eggs, garnish green onions, and our aromatics. It's really not too well what we're gonna do. So the heat's very low right now. What I'm gonna do, I don't wanna burn these things that I've so meticulously uh, browned and I'm gonna use them at the end. A trusty little um, you know, foam remover. It's like a little um, spider, but it's a, uh, I use it more for skimming soups and things like that. You don't have to remove everything, you don't have to be perfect. And you know, we're not in a restaurant environment. If a little bit of it burns, it'll be delicious and, and slightly bitter. It'll add a little bitter nuttiness. So right now, I'm gonna bump up the heat. The heat's nice. I always think it's uh, easier to be eggs with chopsticks. So now that oil's smoking, it's hot. Uh, no, no, no. And my aromatic. You want to get a sizzle, so the sizzle means moisture is coming out, it means you're browning things efficiently, it means you're not steaming what you're doing. When you're steaming your food, it doesn't taste as good because you don't develop any browning. It really won't take long. It smells really good. Gonna have the egg. I'm gonna cook the eggs. I'm gonna get them uh, kind of dry. Love the smell of eggs. I'm gonna scrape. Now we get even little crispy, delicious egg bits. Our eggs are mostly dry. Well, 
add our rice. One thing I recommend is either steaming your rice or um, using uh, like old rice. That way um, the grains are all each more separate, it's easier to mix. This is going to be a very egg forward fried rice, but it's what I want. Press to release the grains, separate everything. Looking a bit dry, I'm not getting the type of um, texture that I want, so we'll adjust. Tiny bit of oil. But you hear that crackling? The crackling means, you know, we're cooking at a high heat. It means we're developing a little bit of nuttiness on our rice. You know, it's almost like we're getting a wok hay, except we're doing it in a pan. But because we're working with a small quantity, and our pan's very hot, we're getting a similar effect. I don't want to overcook stuff. A little bit of MSG, a little bit of salt, a little bit of soy sauce. But what I'm going to do with the soy sauce. Put it where there's no rice. It'll cook the soy sauce and add a delicious flavor to the fried rice, especially this is a nice soy sauce. Hmm, you can't see with all this smoke, what well, smoke steam. It smells delicious. <coughs> We're gonna remove it from the heat. I'm gonna move the camera. The green onions. And we're gonna add a little crispy. And uh, that's about it. I'm gonna cut it. Now all we need to do is put it in a bowl. I have this uh, comically oversized bowl for the amount of food. Alright. So as you can see, I have my fried rice. I'm trying to f see if I can focus on it. So you can see the texture, but it's not doing what I want. But it's not wet, it's oily, but it's not like greasy. Uh, it's oily enough that like, you know, everything gets covered by the oil, but it's each piece is still kind of like a, on its own. There's lots of steam right now, but it's what I want. It's, yeah, it's not greasy, but it is oily, but in a way where everything, you know, all the aromatic oil coats everything. It's nice. The rice is not overcooked. It's not mushy. It tastes nutty, toasty. You know, I didn't overcook the aromatics, so you can still taste their freshness, but yeah, then you have the cooked aromatics that add um, some, um, you know, uh, nuttiness to it. And uh, the, only, the last thing I'll do is it needs a little bit more seasoning. So we'll do a little dash, more salt. Add a tiny, tiny, tiny pinch of sugar. Sugar is actually um, nice and fried rice. Mix it around, see if more to our liking now yeah yeah so now finally one thing I like to do is a tiny bit of there's a touch because this is very strong a touch of sesame oil and uh, the reason I put sesame oil after is because um, I don't like cooking sesame oil I find that it probably because it has a low smoke point or something but denature is the whatever um, compounds are in the oil and it makes it very uh, like bitter. So I, add, I like to add a little bit of sesame oil at the end and, and, and sesame oil is gonna add a little slight nuttiness, but in a different type of nuttiness than when we toasted our aromatics. And last thing, because I should have put more chilies, but I didn't. 
<clears throat> and my chilies were a bit um, on the uh, old side, so I guess they lost some of their potency. Also because it's one of my all-time favorite ingredients. A tiny bit of sambal. And that's, you know, a very lazy, very quick and easy, boring fried rice with stuff that you have on hand, you know, typically have on hand. <coughs> My bowl's on this, you know, but uh, I can't wait to eat this and it's going to be delicious. Thank you. Wait, no, I forgot something really important. I forgot something really important. Mips and the uh, coast disappeared. I don't know where he is. Oh, he's right there. <laughs> Look at that. Coast.